What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Atelier video. All right guys, we're going to be talking about auto versus manual as well as how to manipulate the actual turns on your bar and how it all works. Now this is very, very important. This is going to dictate how you're going to progress through the game. A lot of challenging fights in this game. Uh, it is very difficult to actually raise your CP as well, which is your combat power. And there are ways to avoid that, especially if you're not using auto all the time. And we're going to talk about the two things. Now first I want to mention this for a lot of you guys who don't like to read or understand how things work there is a actually very helpful help section here if you click on the menu section go to help there is a, a part here that explains to you how battles work specifically the battle system right now this will explain to you how activating skills work targeting selection the one we really care about though is going to be the timeline right and then burst so the timeline works as follows the turn order for allies and enemies is displayed in the timeline starting with the character on the far right now you're going to see that bar i'm going to show it to you guys in gameplay very soon you can man manipulate the turn order by using skills or battle items turn order is determined by a character's speed value and skill to priority at the start of the battle that's why speed makes such a big difference right it's the more speed you have the faster you are on that timeline which means you're going to be able to manipulate the timeline a little better and also attack before the enemy does so look at the enemy icon on the timeline to see when the enemy turn will come it shows what will happen on their turn unless the enemy is making a single target attack then you don't then you don't have to worry about it. it's just a regular attack be careful on turns displayed with the with the three question marks because this means the enemy will use a, a skill or or sorry a special or a powerful skill there are also effect panels on the timeline these affect uh, characters who acquire the panel at the start of their turn so there's the red and blue ones we'll talk about those as well take control of the turn order to secure beneficial effects in battle okay and then really the goal is to get those buffs and also these birth uh, birth of uh, these birth skills right and also the enemies will also have birth skills too note try to manipulate the turn order to ensure allies receive burst panel so let's go in there and kind of talk to you guys about all this works remember you guys can use these uh glossaries they're very very useful highly recommend taking a look at this because it will be absolutely critical to understanding no pun intended with the critical there um absolutely critical for you to understand how things are going to be um in your favor and against you right so let's go ahead and do chapter 263 and show you guys how this battle works so this is how we start off so we're gonna start the battle off here um my lineup is semi okay for this fight i think i should have removed um what's her name pie girl i forgot her name uh renona or renona whatever her name is but anyways so here's what we're gonna do like we're gonna look at the timeline together okay so we're, they're gonna perform their specials this happens no matter what they do a taunt from the beginning she does her her par paralysis uh, special this is her ultimate essentially so she's doing that right from the get-go and everybody here are going to get these now you can click on the following things you can go here to the the battle info and you can see what each what, what's happening here okay so recommended um uh, attributes or yeah in this case recommended attributes appearing panels you're going to see you're going to see boost skill damage by 40 percent. this blue one so when that gets on you that's great reduce skill damage by 40 percent. that's obviously the negative one do you want this on enemies burst skill ready when you see this icon and very high chance of afflicting paralysis and this is what the bosses will do uh garen does taunt with each uh, each turn so you can't attack laura at all until killing him attack ignoring odds of be sorry attacks ignoring odds of being targeted and the laura here increases uh appearance of paralysis panels you'll see these little yellow ones and then she triggers positive effects at a certain hp so she essentially boosts her hp to max and when you break her actual stun bar she'll go back to max stun bar again too okay so at some point it's going to be impossible to get through that so here we go this is how it's going to look you can see here everyone's got ourselves uh we don't have any burst panels at all here okay so that's not a good thing but if you click on this for example you see how you go before him right so in this case we actually do want to heal though so we're going to heal her up and this puts her behind everybody now if you saw my first attack would have put her in front of garon now i'm behind garon right so uh here's what we want to do so here with this attack if i do single attack you guys can see i get to go again if i do double attack or the second skill i go second right i don't want that i want to be able to do the first one and go next turn again so there's a little bit of damage there same thing with this here if i do burst right i'm going after him i'm all the way back there if i do this here i go again so i'm going to do this one again and see my turn now is coming up again so here same scenario happens we want to do see if i if i do regular attack the burst goes to my healer if i do second attack it maintains so depending where you what you want to do and who you want to have the burst you may want to change this up a little bit so in this case she's actually weakest against laura but she's strong against garon so i'm going to do that regular attack i'm going to switch it if i press this now you can see my burst disappears and it goes to her so i actually have to do the second skill so very important to note that guys you don't want to give your burst away to an enemy obviously right now you can see here garon gets the next burst so if i want to do this now I can damage him or if i do this i get to go after but in this case we okay we do this summoning star oh i did the wrong move there 
Okay, here we can go ahead and do a few casts. So I'm gonna do dark water, dark water, and this. Let's go ahead and do that action. This will heal and use our items. So some magic down on these guys. Okay, and then you guys can see now, she's got a burst instead when I did that. So be careful when doing those items, you can screw yourself over by giving somebody else a burst, right? So that's the main thing to note. Because we did those items, that gave somebody else the burst. So we're going to have to reset this battle and start again. So I just want to show you guys how that worked out. Okay, so let's do this battle here and we'll see how we can manage it without any as many complications. Okay, so here we go. Again, boss is going to start with taunt. Here's the taunt. And then there's a special coming up right now. There it is. Let's hope nobody dies. Killed her already. Okay, that's a start over. And the, the reason why that happened is Garon actually hit her first. Normally he hits somebody else and they don't target the same person at the same time. Okay, let's see what happens here. This time I hit Riza. Let's see who she hits. She's going to target uh, Renona. Okay, so good. We're, we're okay now. So Renona will get the heal. As long as Garen didn't hit her in the beginning, she won't die. And Laura is stronger against her in terms of her... Um, her element, right? So that's why she did that. So here we have um, we have a burst on her. If I keep it the same as switches, see, and I get I get this to to Rizzo. So we're gonna go and switch that up. We're gonna do this regular attack. Okay, good. And now we want to do everyone's second skills, okay, to keep everyone going. Because if I do first skill, see what happens? She gets the burst. So you make sure you keep up and do your second skills to keep the order as is. Okay, so don't switch that up. Here again, if I did this, see, she gets the burst. Here, I keep it. So make sure, guys, you understand that concept, all right? Skill 1s will manipulate the timeline. Skill 2s will maintain it the same. So same thing here. Do this, and we're going to keep going here, okay? And hopefully we can kill kill Jaron here before um, before the burst goes off because Riz is actually stronger against, uh, against Lara. Okay, so here we want to do 2, and we're going to target... Renona here. I think that's her name. I'm pretty sure. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Okay, so here's an alt. A burst being done. Hopefully it doesn't kill anyone. It's a good thing we healed her. Oh, she died. Okay, well that's, I mean, that is what it is. So here we don't have a choice. We kind of have to do this burst. Um, unless I want to switch it, because then if I switch this, you can see my burst leaves me, and I can do something else. But here, I definitely want to do my burst to kill him off. I, he's going to resist, unfortunately, which sucks. But we're going to go ahead and cast it anyways. Okay, so he's broken there. Okay, so here I can do one of two things. The burst currently is on Logi. Uh, we can switch this up a little bit by using items. You can see here now. Everything switched up a little bit. So we use one, two, three items. And now the burst goes back to uh, Riza. And here we can now do our skill two and maintain things that we need. Now this is what I wanted. I wanted damage up to be on him because he does more damage when somebody is uh, stunned, right? So here we got to we get to kill him off. And now our focus is going to be shifted now to killing off her. Now as you can see here, she's doing a recover move coming up, right? Which is good. We want that. So again, to maintain everything, skill two. You guys can see the weakness there. Damage dealt up. Here we're going to do a, a cast. Do it on her because she's our strongest unit. Okay. And now you can see first aid is coming. Going to heal herself up. That's great. She's got a burst coming up next. So you want to do this and take her down as quick as you can. Now the problem is when she reaches a certain point in health and st uh, stamina bar... She does a full heal back. So you want to avoid that if you can. But I think it's inevitable. I don't think there's a way to actually avoid that. Uh, so we're going to do... So she's got a burst coming up here. So that's fine. We're going to keep that there. There you go. There it is. We hit that threshold. Now she's got fully recovered. But we took the burst away, which is important, right? She's stunned right now, which is great. So here we're going to do... Uh, so she's stunned, stunned. That's good. She's done once only there, though. So let's see if we can do this first. Okay, so we have a burst. We can heal everybody back up, which is important, obviously. There we go. 
So there's her special. The sun doesn't last very long, unfortunately. Hope she doesn't kill her. I don't think she does. That's why we healed everybody back up to avoid this exact damage coming through. Okay, see, everybody got paralysis panel again. So now the burst is on her. Now I want to change this up a bit, though, right? So we want to make sure this burst gets m manipulated a tad bit. Uh, actually, you know what? I might have to be able to break this. Let me see if I can break this. Can I break it? No. If I do this, I get the burst, right? Yeah, I want the burst. So let's do this. I want the burst. I can kill her off if I get the burst off. We just don't want to die. That's the main thing. Okay, so now we got to keep everything the same. Okay, so we got some items. Okay, that's fine. That's not a big deal. Here's the burst. So here we want to do... Uh, do I get bursty if I do my items? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, I think, I, I think we're fine. Okay, so we go this, this, and this. Okay, so you can see we're doing magic up, magic resist up. She still has her burst here. And now we're going to do this and kill her off. Okay, so this is how that's that's essentially how it works. Your your alchemy items matter a lot. You got 21,000 damage. Okay, so that should finish her off. And now we've completed the level. It was actually useful and you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you have any comments, let me know in the comment section, of course. Uh, this is Payne. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.